had several people asking me what we actually fly, the paramotors that we fly, and these are them. This is Will, this is Orv. These are Parajet Mavericks with Atom 80s. So that's the Atom 80 engine right there. I have a three blade um, E-Prop and Cynthia's has uh, the same engine, but this one has a two blade Helix prop. We actually did some thrust tests between the two at the Parajet factory. They've got this really cool kind of setup where you can strap your paramotor in and run a bunch of diagnostic tests. So I'll actually cut to that now so that you can see all of those test results. It's really interesting. So basically we've got the, uh, the Parajet test cell where we can test uh, any unit and log meaningful data that we can either use for service and repair to make things as, uh, as efficient as possible or in our research and development work, thrust from the propeller, RPM, cylinder head temperature, the atmospheric conditions, so the, the, the temperature of the test cell, but also we've got um, a sniffer so that we can actually sniff the exhaust gases and get the carburetor tune exactly right. CCTV monitors so we can see what's going on in the test cell, so obviously we're safe and we're not putting anybody in danger. We've got sound deadening in the test cell so that we don't piss off our neighbours. Um, <laughs> uh, so one of the things we always get visitors to do is go and put their heads between the veins of the sound deadening material. And it's amazing how, even though we're open to the outside, uh, when the, with, the, uh, with, the, with the vent open, that uh, yeah, you just can't hear it outside. So let's try that, I wanna try that, Same go in there. One, two, one, two, one, two. Wow, so weird. there's no echo in here. I feel like I'm speaking with my, my hands on my ears. Yeah. Simon, yell at us. Hello. Oh my oh, God. Oh, that's so weird. That's the weirdest bit. So we have my paramotor here, Wilbur, and um, we've got a three blade on this one. And we're gonna find out exactly how much thrust this thing puts out. And then we're gonna put Cynthia's blades on, which is a bit heavier. And then we're gonna see how much thrust that puts out. Okay, so clear prop. Let's add some throttle. So just let her warm up at sort of 4,000 revs or so. Yeah. You see she's making seven kilos of force at the moment. Okay. Cylinder head temperature's going up. Oh wow, look at that. Cylinder head temp is at 24 degrees Celsius, 25. Everything looks okay inside the test cell. Okay, so it's giving, giving us a 13.3. 13.1, 13, that's about optimal. 2.9 is optimal. So there you go, that's your, your mixture's pretty good. Really, excellent. And it's actually now- 12.9 is, is an A star. Uh, look, 12.9, 12, 12 it's actually giving you 12.9 on the logger. So it's 12.9 there too. Okay, so that's obviously in the, still on your load yet. So let's get, we're gonna throttle her up to full power now. RPM, 46 kilos of thrust, engine temperature is at 50 degrees Celsius. And it's 
13.1 on here. Is that good? Yeah, it's good, so you see where it's good. Alright, here we go. So now we're going to try your prop and see what the thrust is. Okay. So All right. Prop. It's a battle of the props. <laughs> so what's the number to beat? 46 kilograms? 48, I think it was. 48 kilograms is the number to beat. Well, look at that. Like, that's significant. That's a pretty significant number. So my prop is, my prop creates three kilograms more of thrust three to four, four than yours does. Right. Which is great, because it's also lighter. Wow, amazing. Mm -hmm.